Jigide. Oh, yeah, well, Jesus. Jigide. 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 Oh, yeah, well, Jesus. Jigide. Lift your hands to God and run in the earth to meet my redeemer. I am running away. I'm running the earth to meet my redeemer. Heavenly Hallelujah. Amen. The rest of life is not to the strong. It's not to the one that thought is swift. But it is of God. Here is July from January yesterday. Very soon we are in December. Another year we come. And we check our books and our record some of us i forbid it for you this year will not end with you where it met you yeah. when you and i enter this year we enter with absolute expectation that god is going to add value and times to us and walking into the second half of the year there is a time for us to place a demand before our god I like this someone this morning aggressively open up your mind and cry to God Father it is time to remember me remember me oh Lord and manifest yourself in my life I don't know whether you are here but i like you to lift your voice and i like you to pray to god hey my father and this seven month my seasonal generational encounter renewal and activation remember me and my house remember me oh god
Jesus mighty name we pray that this old song that says he's able he's able abundantly able Ephesians 3 20 to deliver and to say I got this full of your presence that song said my mouth is full of your presence because my heart is full of you you are just my God you are just too much Upon the congregation, upon the broker, across the world, 
and raise up not your task ever in our homes, in our life, in our homes. Great is the faithfulness. Oh, oh Lord, my Father, there is no shadow of God in with, with Him. the happy here forever forever, now forever.
Rabe, Sotelegarabaraba, Uligeregaragarabaraya. the way you praise God and you will see God's right in your spirit man you don't sing to him you praise him you sing to him with meaning in your heart with faith in your spirit because if God does not come in you cannot be settled if God is the one that will settle your life then you will enter his gate with thanksgiving and with praises in your spirit and the Lord shall step into your life and he shall open you up it's a great moment Walk with God, and they, he got to a point and he shouted, Ah, Lord God, are you not the one that created the heaven and the earth? Ah, Lord God, thou made the heaven and the earth by thy great power. Allah God. Thou made the heaven and the earth by the outstretched hand. Nothing. Nothing is too difficult for me. Nothing is too difficult for thee. You are great and mighty God. Great in power. Mighty in it. Mighty in it. Nothing, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for me. Everybody take it now. Allah God does me the heaven and the earth by thy stretch power. Bala, 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 bala. You have to get out. Come on, come on. Put your clap of prayer. Nothing is too difficult for me. Calabush. Nothing is too difficult for me. You are the great and mighty God. Nothing, nothing, 
solo te nace, no tenéis el tipo Everybody say, not Of your life in July, you will have a reason to shout hallelujah to the Lord. Where there seems to be no way in your ways, Jesus shall show forth as the way. Say, I am the life, the truth, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one cometh into his glory except by me. Where there seems to be no way you are ways, Jesus shall show forth in July. Where there's no way for every other person around you, there shall be a way for you. A way for your house, a way for your marriage. In the name of Jesus. I reminded my wife this morning. I said, a few days from now, our marriage will be 30 years. Wow. And we prayed for grace. We prayed for grace. On the 30th anniversary, it settled our home. So it's very prophetic that there will be miracles for family settlement in this month. There will be visitations. There will be connections. There will be renewal. There will be revival. In this entire dominion family across the world, 
wheresoever you have been bewitched i see the power of god liberate you whatsoever your destiny and the family destiny have been corrupted i see the blood of jesus bring redemption you shall move forward your family shall move forward your life shall move forward your business shall move forward you will encounter favor you will encounter connection you will encounter help the same grace that i work for all it shall work for you you may be seated briefly that's the mind of god this morning genesis chapter 8 we want to talk about generational blessing when god judged the world and the world was consumed by flood god preserved a seed from the corrupted world for himself and they preserved that seed in righteousness so it was very absolute when pastor abraham was reading psalm 112 with us this morning praise god blessed shall be the generation of the upright noah was found upright and even if destruction came upon the world his family were exempted the lord will exempt your family from deadly evil i didn't hear a living amen now quickly let's just look at this passage genesis chapter 8 I read from verse 1. Uh, let you take it to verse 4. And God remembered Noah. I announced to this house that this is your mode of remembrance. And every living thing, every living thing with Noah, everything around you, including your children, for your sake, this moon, they shall be remembered. And all the cattle that was with him in the ark, and God made a wind to pass over the edge, and the waters are switched. The fountain also of the deep, and the windows of heaven were stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained. Verse 3, and the waters returned from off the earth continually, and after the end of the 150 days, the water were abated. There's a difference between a switch and abated and verse 4 and the ark rested in the seventh month on the seventeenth day of the month upon the mount of ararat hallelujah so between now and the seventeenth day of this month god will start a miracle that will be perpetrated on the seventeenth day every pressure you have carried in january will come under redemptive plan of god you will come out of pressure in the mighty name of jesus now the story here are very brief the story here are very brief because I, I plan to talk about the covenant of generational blessing no matter how angry god is with you there's always a place in god that he can let go forgive you and give you a second chance many of us that have missed it miss it by the demand of our flesh by the demonic movement and the influence around us i see your destiny and my destiny your family and my family come under god's message did i hear a living amen from the house now when god was angry with the whole world the bible said god looked down and they found a man out of the whole world they found only a man and his name was adam and the Bible says, and Adam found grace before God. Adam found grace. Can, can you come down to verse 8 of chapter 6? But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Chapter 6 was a, a chapter that God began to regret creating man. Everything was wrong. But in the course of God's anger, he saw a man that must be exempted. And the Bible says, And Noah found grace before God. That grace is, okay, an act of God's mercy. In the grace of God, is, um, 
in the grace of god is god's ability in the grace of god is god's kindness in the grace of god is god's mercy praise god now noel found grace and then he received exemption i have judged the world i'm going to destroy the whole world but you and your family have found mercy before me have found great before me you will not partake of the evil that is coming upon the world and that is our declaration in month of july though there may be evil up and down you shall be exempted your family shall be exempted your marriage shall be exempted your business shall be exempted in the name of jesus right and according to the testimony of the bible God imparted Noah with creative anointing. Somebody say creative anointing. And they told Noah what he must do to be saved. God has saved you. But there's something you must do to be saved. You must believe that God has saved you. That's number one. You must labor in the word of God. So that you can be in obedience. God can save you in disobedience. God can save you in your rebellion. God can save you in your sin. It was no sin that saved Noah. It was righteousness that saved Noah. Are we here? So when God saved him, God told him what to do, and he obeyed God and began to do what God asked him to do. And God walked with him. He didn't lack food. He didn't lack strength. He didn't. He didn't fall ill because he has had what God said to you. So many of us that will obey God's word this morning and study God's word this morning, we shall be outstanding. We shall receive creative anointing. We shall fly while others are just crawling. In the name of Jesus, right? Somebody said to me this morning in the text message, he said, it was good to read the devotional for this morning and to discover that there's a Bible plan to read through the Bible throughout the whole year. And I said, yes, it's in the two months that are coming out it's in the two months that are coming out it was he was so excited about it so after the devotional there's something more to hold on so stay on the word of god you will be, you'll be reading genesis chapter one today okay and every disorder in your life will receive order everything that has lost value in your life will receive redemption of value are we here and god will visit your house and your foundation and they will fix whatever is wrong. That is what he says. Then by the evening you will be studying Matthew. So you won't lack words to pray to God. You won't lack anything. Now the Bible said that God waited patiently for Noah. Until Noah was done with the, with, the, with the construction of the ark. Are we here? And then he brought every creation to preserve. With Noah. And the Bible said the rain came. And then... 150 days 150 days they were trapped in the flood the flood has killed everybody in the world but he lifted up the ark where Noah was praise God and then the water remained Noah couldn't come out from the ark and everything in the ark was multiplying and the Bible says on in chapter 8 verse 1 and God remembered Noah are we hearing me Things have been well with you and your house. It appears that people have forgotten you, including God. But this month, by the grace of God, I see God remember you and your family. Yeah. I wish your amen can be louder. Yeah. That same flood that has caged you and restricted you and limited you and put fear in you. By 17th of this month, you will look for your fear and you shall not find that. You will look for your poverty and you shall not find that. You will look for your enemies and you shall not find that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now rise to your feet. Well, we'll be talking about this on Sunday. Hear me well. When God created Adam, he did not leave him empty-handed. God was his father. God was his creator. When God created Adam, he did not leave him what? Can I hear somebody say something? He did not leave him empty-handed. The Bible says he gave him a garden. 
When God saved Noé, he did not leave Noé empty handed. He blessed Noé with what will sustain and preserve Noé. Are we here? When God saved Abraham, he was poor, he was oppressed, he was devastated. But God was with him. And the Bible says, in the course of time, Abraham became very rich. And when Abraham died, he passed on the riches to Isaac. And Isaac passed on the riches to Jacob. And Jacob passed on the riches to Joseph and to Judah. And I say to you, that's your God, that's your creator. You will not die poor. The Lord shall return to your matter this month. Financially, you shall be set up. Your business shall be set up. Your marriage shall be set up. The Lord shall settle you. The Lord shall settle your house. The Lord shall settle your family. The Lord shall settle your business. And by the grace of God, you will live well and live wealthy. At the fullness of time, you will pass some blessings to your generation, to your children. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I therefore declare that as you have seen the first day of July 2021, you will live to see the first day of August 2021. Yeah. Nothing shall go down in your life. Yeah. Nothing shall die in your house. Yeah. Nothing shall die in your family. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Yeah. Someone shout a living hallelujah.